My name is Aidan Lohern. I'm a mechanical engineer and I work in the research and development department of Ulster Carpets. It could actually involve pretty much anything from electronics, software, and to my degree in mechanical engineering. Uh, I've worked in a number of projects involving electronics and software where we've developed our own system to wind yarn that no other company in the world has. It saved us quite a bit of money um, and we have got the Queen's Award for innovation for the project. I started off in university. Uh, my final year project, I started writing the software for it. It was uh, based on a calculation of the quantity of yarn to use. The project then, we got grant funding for it and we implemented it over the next few years and it's currently very successful. I always wanted to be an engineer, even from an early age where I was taking stuff apart and usually tried to put it back together, but unsuccessfully. Even from primary school, I remember getting electric shocks from taking stuff apart, so it started at a very, very early age. Mother and father both owned a, a corner shop, and I grew up working in it, so probably that's where I got my mouths from. But as far as engineering, not really although my father's brothers would have been mechanics and there had always been cures being worked on. Well, school, I actually did like school. I was probably one of the few that did. I um, particularly liked mathematics and physics, the technology. They had an interest in the field and it, it just came easy to me. I knew I wanted to be an engineer and they had pointed me towards maths, chemistry, physics to keep my options open. And there were the A-levels that I I done. Our careers department at my school was quite good. They told me that there was an industrial scholarship scheme for students doing engineering. At the time I didn't know what type of engineering I wanted to do and there was a mechanical, electrical, civil and I couldn't decide between them but I opted for mechanical in the end. On my UCAS form I had actually four courses of engineering at the university and to decide and one's quite difficult. I chose mechanical more out of luck probably than anything and I don't think it's that important what you choose then because you can change and adapt. What you decide now won't shape your entire future. It's a start and you can move on. After going for an interview for the industrial scholarship scheme, also Carpets took me on. Um, my first year out before I started university I was working for the company. I worked in every department and learned how the job was done. This was great in future because it showed me how the people actually done the jobs and how we could make improvements. You met people on your course who hadn't the experience that I had and we had to do design projects and the knowledge that I had learned from here of the real world of how things actually operated as opposed to theory was invaluable. Um, it actually got me good marks from my projects and it also helps understand, you can relate what you've learned in theory to the real world. From there I went to university and each summer I come back and work for the factory and I've actually spent one of the summers in South Africa working for them. After I graduated then, the company has employed me and I've been working here since. As I said earlier, my parents had owned a shop and seeing them working for themselves, I've always had a desire to eventually work for myself doing what I'm not quite sure, but with the skills that I've got from here, I'm sure I can fix something. <laughs>